<laughs> Clowny Nerf. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Clowny Nerf. And this time I am going to be reviewing my brand new Alpha Hawk. Well, Alpha Hawk, right? Alpha Alpha Hawk from the AccuStrike series. And I'm holding it this way to make sure because there's no paint on the other side because they must lay them out on one side. It takes too long to dry as they go down the assembly line. So when Hasbro figures out how to paint the other sides or has time for the massive, massive amounts of shipping they do to be able to flip the blasters over and have it dry, we will get paint on both sides. Until then, that is not my only aesthetic complaint. <laughs> when I first saw this thing, I thought, wow, that's a lot of orange. And I am still not wrong. In fact, it is orange. Orange for days. Even the internals are orange. They didn't have enough or they had too much. They just said, we need more orange plastic because we have to have it. Overall, and I really haven't done a lot of playing with this thing, I'm going to go on record as saying I'm kind of eh on this blaster right off the bat. And I'll explain why here because one... It's five shots instead of a strong arm. And I bet you, you are getting the same performances out of a strong arm that you would, or I guess it's going to be the disruptor now that you would, out of, uh, that you would out of uh, the rifle. Because it's not that big of a plunger system inside. And to have five shots was okay for the sidearm, but this is supposed to be your primary and six would have been good, especially when they came out with that stupid judge thing. It just has a massive drum. And then you have the Busby, oh God, what the heck's it called? The Magnum. That's a 30 round drum. That thing's huge. And their first offering on this thing is a pistol with a single shot and a five shot turret and a lot of orange plastic, which looks admittedly a lot better than it did when I first saw the pictures of it. Uh, for taller people, this is not going to be much of an issue. But for me, I absolutely like the... Well, I guess it wouldn't be an issue. It would be less than that. Because uh, being 5'1", this thing is actually really comfortable. I actually really like it. Even though my sights are apparently way out of whack. Uh, I do miss a top prime aesthetic, and having this here is okay, but I kind of want to, I want to hold it here, but what I'm using, I kind of want to fast prime it, but I can't, because there's no way to pump it or pseudo pump it by hooking this and doing that. It just kind of goes back just a little too far to try to do something along those lines, so even when I'm just... Back to the little you know, eh, and then that, that that what is this? Look at that giant hole in the front. That has got such a miserable profile of being scary. I mean, that the barrels are intimidating. This just has a giant hole pointed at you. Like I could shoot a matchbox out of this thing. Well, that's a neat mod, huh? I think you get to shoot matchbox. I bet I could fit a matchbox out the hole in that. I mean, for dart interference, that's great, but <laughs> there's none. Just, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And they leveled off the bottom part of it, but they didn't do anything to the top. So all the structural things are just kind of there, which looks bad. Ugh. And the handle's good. You know, everybody talks about that, and the rubberized grip is really slick, but it's got ridges around the outside of the handle all the way around, and they kind of dig into your hand a little bit, your thumb, or at least they do for mine, because I have meaty fat kid fingers, and I don't know. I mean, it was 30 bucks. It's comfortable, but I kind of don't like the Prime. The handles did a great ergonomic, but... It's got that diggy thing in. The triggers and just feels well. And I don't have a problem with the, you know, the the performance it's gonna get, but it's only five shots. I mean it really just kinda eh. I mean, nerf, alpha hawk. Eh. <laughs> well, why not? 
Of alcohol. Why not? I don't understand. Huh. This is a bit of a confusing review for me. I tried to be more technical in this, and I'm just not the biggest fan of this thing. However, it is, well, you know what? I'm just going to draw the line at it and say, if you got 30 bucks to spend on a Nerf Alpha Hawk and you want one, go ahead. Uh, me, I'm probably not going to be returning mine because I think I got some mod ideas and stuff for it, or at least some of the parts, but I really kind of wished I might have wished laid it until it was $25 instead of $30, and I think I'd feel a lot better about my purchase. Other than that, nah. <laughs> but, uh, my resounding opinion aside, if you guys have anything you could add to this that might make this review actually sound intelligent and not just some rambling uh, flip-flop of post Apocalyptic, that's the other line. Designing, uh, it would be interesting, and I'd like to see it, so leave your comments in the box below. Uh, if you like the Alpha Hawk, give it an upvote. Uh, why not? Either way, it helps the channel out, which is really good for me, and better for you, because the more I get help, the better help I get, and the more you guys get out of this thing. Uh, if you don't agree with any of that thing, or just think I said shut up by now, you're probably already gone and not listening to this, so you won't be able to hit the thumbs down button. Which is good for the channel, <laughs> by the way, and good for the reputation on Facebook. Until next time, guys, remember, Cloudy's watching. Peace.